So today I met my friend who works for St. John's Ambulance in the Northeastern Legion. It's the regional coordinator. He will give us the historical background and the work which uh, St. John's does here in Northeastern and in Kenya and across the world. So in, uh, it would really explain to us a lot of things. Welcome, Mr. Morris. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Geoffrey. Yes. Um, I'm grateful to have met you. Okay. Uh, Geoffrey, for giving me this opportunity. Mm -hmm. I'm quite grateful that you have come to, 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 to visit and actually to, to, to get what is on the ground in Northeastern region, a region people are taking to be very, uh, very critical in terms of security. Uh, I would just like to say that, uh, uh, as a point of correction, that we are actually volunteers. Mm -hmm. We are volunteers, and it's very uh, difficult uh, to, to, to put it that uh, we are volunteers who are out to give our all and our passion mm -hmm. so that we can prove to the community and to the society at large that uh, Garissa is not as dangerous as people are thinking. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of peace. All people need is education, civic outreach, like what you're doing now, mm -hmm. that will bring people's minds to sanity mm -hmm. and uh, create people who have the passion to bring Kenya into one piece mm -hmm. as a place that is uh, harmonious and uh, safe to visit. Okay. Give us a brief history of St. John's Ambulance, making sure to touch on uh, the main historical events since the beginning when it was established and who established it up to date? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we have a, a brief history of St. John Ambulance as it is in record. Uh, it's very long. Uh, just to start, we, I, would, I would like to mention that uh, last year, 2017, St. John Ambulance was celebrating 1,000 years worldwide mm -hmm. and in Kenya it was celebrating uh, 98 years, mm -hmm. 98 years up to up to last year. That is mm -hmm. uh, around uh, around June. Mm -hmm. That's when we have our year. Yes. So Saint John came uh, to Kenya as a military organization, mm -hmm. as it was established by King Gregory mm -hmm. some times back. Yes. Uh, when we fo follow the order of Saint John, mm -hmm. according to the history given, mm -hmm. uh, it was established first as a, a center to give hospitality mm -hmm. to Christian pilgrims until around 600 years when we are told tension was very high in the Middle East mm -hmm. and uh, that is when you found uh, St. John Am Ambulance starting to, 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 to come up with the institutions where the pilgrims would actually be hospitalized when they are sick or when they are attacked or be given hospitality in terms of uh, lodgings and in terms of meals mm -hmm. on, on their way mm -hmm. during those, those, those years. Okay. St. John's mm -hmm. must have been a very good person. Who is St. John's? Actually, when you go to the books of uh, community development, that is when now you get actually the root of John, John himself. Uh, John was a person from the books of community development who had uh, one student called Crenshaw, and he was actually a pedagogue, a person who was uh, teaching in the palace, teaching the kids children, teaching the, 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 the who is who in the society's children. Mm -hmm. But then uh, at some point it was, uh, it is written that it, it was found unwanting mm -hmm. that people were enjoying themselves in the palace when other people were suffering out. Mm -hmm. So he brought up that idea mm -hmm. and uh, it brought, uh, it was actually rubbished. Mm -hmm. So that was way back, uh, history books has it that uh, around uh, 1428. Mm -hmm. Around 1748, about 200 years down the line, mm -hmm. uh, what he was fearing for happened. And there was the war of England that broke out that uh, actually led to the killing of the king and the people who were leaders. Mm -hmm. The community became tired and they attacked and uh, uh, so much happened, so much destruction happened. Mm -hmm. And at that point in time, uh, the books of history has it that uh, whoever took over the leadership asked about somebody who had mentioned something like that that happened, predicted. Mm -hmm. So scholars were told to go back to the archives, and when they went back to the archives, they said, now here, uh, the person who had this idea was called John, mm -hmm. and he was in the king's palace, giving people education, uh, the children, guiding them. But then, 
what he wanted never was never heeded and uh, this thing broke up. Mm. So whoever came in said, now if that was the man, then we are going to start the service he, had, he was actually suggesting, mm. but we are going to name it after him. That was 200 years down the line. Yes. So medieval times, such a person was actually canonized, mm. meaning mm -hmm. since it was uh, a By Christian generation, that was, uh, they, they are called the, the, the they are called the, the um, this was the Catholic Church those days. Okay. Actually, yeah, because King Gregory was uh, was those days Catholic. Mm -hmm. Because but then, uh, Rome was ruling the world, mm -hmm. and every ruler was from Rome. Mm -hmm. So that is when, uh, in 600 AD, when the radio station uh, broke up, you find that now this man called uh, Pope Gregory mm -hmm. came up with this idea to bring that up and canonize the person mm -hmm. and have the whole institution named after him. Okay. So from there, so many things happen. Okay. But yes.